Well, good morning and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope all the ponds are okay this morning. Welcome back to another video. So, yeah, kind of from the last video, um, I was putting the air source seat pump in there, over there, but just it's really tight for room in there. I can't get it in the waste tray of the drum to clean out. So, yeah, it was going to be just put there temporary, but I decided now to put the heat pump in front of here. Look, got plenty of room around here, plenty of room at the back for the fins. My pipe will go in there. I don't really need to access that because that's only a power source, what's already wired up. Before I put plumbing in thinking I might plug it in see if it all lights up and works. And it's just start some reef locks and I'll put um, rubber dampers on them. And that's it. So I'll get this uh, plumbed in somehow. So yeah, I'll get back to you. <coughs> right, there you go, all plumbed in and working. All running and set up. So you can't really see, but around there, you can move this. Comes out of there into a pump and pump out of there into a T piece that's the inlet and that's the outlet so in there out there and down there back in there and there into the wall and by shower but we turn the shower off putting that on a separate pump so I can put more water over that kick up all those water through all this so yeah I didn't film any yesterday because I had a ball it getting it all plumbed in and sorting it out because like an idiot so me putting a ball valve there I put the ball valve there first so I thought got it all plumbed up ready to go I realised what an idiot you have to have a ball valve in between the T lines there so I could adjust the flow going through. Load it all in, got it all set up and ready. Now drop the clang and realise. So, what a sod! So, yeah, what I'm doing now is insulating pipe like a wool insulation stuff from um, Wixers. You post put your pipe. through there like that but I can't get any pipe wide enough we are going online all this stuff to go through the pipe so I've got that just wrapping it around pipe like that and then insulation foil over top of that and I'm using Gorilla Tape Uh, water resistant shield, incredible strong, double thick adhesive tape. So yeah, I'm using that. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Glote. I haven't been given it, so I've been had to buy that. So yeah. So I'm slowly going around insulating the best I can. So yeah. That's the insulation tape over the top in it. Now I'm just working my way around. Uh, I had a slight problem with um, 
or joint there leaking could I get to stop leaking? bloody hell could I get to stop leaking looking of course on a, a union ball valve so on the coupling there, under that coupling there and uh, bang loads of silicon around it and it has stopped it because glue has not stopped it putting glue around it um, I put the glue, glue the joints in, didn't, didn't do it so so while I had that off, I insulated this as well it's tricky to get to so I was that insulated just a piece of litter there try and get me hand in and do the best I can then inflate that back up there and we're not far off unless all insulated so yeah just crack on do some more so basically all I'm doing is wrapping it around like that all the way to end and then down top and the glue tape so yeah I'll get back to you I need two hours for this and I'll show you the bit of settings on the computer if I can Right, I'm back. Just um, thought you weren't being up to. So we are we all are insulated there and there. I managed to get the insulation down there as well. This piece of insulate as well, and um, I'll show you what on the graph on this on this here. So, I mean, you can just quite make it out, is that it? So yeah, six hours without it kicking in at 14.5, so we are set at 14. So there's no error codes or anything, so we are all working. I am not covered yet. Still got the shower going, so I'm not covered yet, so I'm not getting that much of a heat chill, a cold chill off it, so not kicking in that much. But also what I've ordered, I've just come up today, what I'm going to need to be fitting. Just let me unbox it. Box it. And there you go. It's a Wi-Fi module for that. For this to work in Wi-Fi mode, I'm hoping it will pick up from the house down here. It should do because I had a Wi-Fi pump on and that picked up. So I'm hoping this will. I'm just hoping there's enough room for me to get in there, open that up and fit it. If not, it needs me switching that down off there, undoing the couplings off that and point it that and point it that way to get in. I'm hoping it just be enough room to get in and uh, do the wiring. So I won't be able to film um we're doing that to need two ones but I just need to have a look to see if this is waterproof and not because if it's not waterproof I'm not ideal. as well but anyway you can see where it can go if it's all right like I said I could do a um, small cupboard building just here round here or something just to keep the rain off 
a hay hole. But if you don't put a cover over it or something like a, a thing over a thing over top in it, like a little roof, it will look stupid. I think. But I just um, for now I'll leave this as it is probably. Because that's like I said, that's coming down. I can shove all that back in there and rebuild it all, do it all. The plans are probably a new roof next year and uh, a new something else built into this and uh, like a, a filter house at the bottom but we'll see on that one but yeah I'll get back to it when I get this unscrewed and put in. Right I have noticed with this it isn't very uh, magnet on it but there's no way it can stick it will stick on um, there this was my bit of filming not back of there but I want it on the front and it's no good to me stuck there really um, leaves not very long so it might just sit on top like that but I want it stuck on the side so not a lot of options to do really I'll just try and get the best camera in here with filming so there's two connections there won't connect the connections in that that feeds through through there like that and then you need the other wiring for that one goes on the end uh, end of there and one goes into the wire into there and the one goes on the end of there so on and so on I'll get back to you because I need two hands so there you go it's wired in and uh, fed through then all I have to do is pull that back on like that put the screw back in and we're all sorted then turn it on and we should see from there so I don't know I'll get the screw back in there but it's a really tight space but I oh, see I need to answer all that so I should get back to trying it up and running Right, there you go, it's all lit up, so I just need to um, connect it to the Wi-Fi now, see what I can do to do that, let me just press it on green, there you go, I think it's flashing. Right, I just need to turn this off a minute and um, get back to it. I need to work out how to, how to uh, connect this to, to the Wi Fi and get it up and running through the app. But I'll get back to it. Right, there you have it. The other Wi Fi is set up. I struggle to get connected, so what I had to do was go and buy a router extender TP Link Link. AC 1200 Wi Fi Ranger extender, plug that into the kitchen. That was a sub to connect and get set up, but managed to do it. So it's up in the kitchen on there. So I get good Wi Fi and that's working now down here. So that can just sit on there. It is magnet, so it sits on there. We'll put something just across there just to stop access water. Uh, some more tape insulated so all that is done all that is done down there just started doing that bit there got that to insulate the four inch pipe and a bit around the filter to put on to box the filter a little bit try and keep some of the heat in yeah and that's it and we are currently sat at I've knocked it down a bit 13.5 
Mm. It's going six hours without coming on, so. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that, so yeah. A couple of scrapes to do on the fish. Just to give a check all for winter. One or two clamping up bottom, but it's not temperature related because it's all set at one temperature, so it's not fluctuated, so it's not temperature. So it's something else, I need to have a check and see what there is. But that is for another video. So yeah, I shall end it on this video. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to see me in more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Any comments, drop them down below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.